overall team effort tonight. I thought we really uh, we defended as a unit. I thought we played extremely unselfish uh, offensively, and more importantly, we played extremely unselfish defensively. Guys were really there for each other. Um, I really felt like we frustrated them a little bit because of how consistent we were defensively, uh, taking away their space to play. Um, and I, th I thought our three seniors really came out and set the tone for us tonight. Uh, and I just thought it was a great uh, team win and a, and a great program win. Well, we're, I know we didn't lose many guys, but we're just a completely different team. We're just a significantly more mature basketball team. Uh, we defend significantly better. Uh, we have senior leadership. And our forwards aren't young anymore. Like last year, if you remember, we had all freshmen and sophomores that never played. Um, so I think it's just the maturity and growth of a team and a program. You know what I mean? It takes some time to, to build a program, and this is what we're trying to do. And I think we're starting to see signs of it. And again, you know, we, we got a long ways to go. This is early basketball. Um, we defended very well tonight. We have to defend this way consistently. We defended. We got stops, and then it let out the transition. And um, I thought that was consistent. I thought we going back and forth a little bit, uh, but then I think we really locked in and, and got comfortable and figured it out of what we're going to have to do defensively against them. And then we wound up getting I don't know what it was, probably like six stops in a row, which really got them playing in transition, and we were able to play at our tempo instead of playing at theirs. Well, today I was the shooting coach today. I'm responsible for shooting. Now, um, listen, we play unselfishly. We have five guys on the floor that can score at all times. We struggled around the rim today because it was so big. So today was going to be a game that we needed to make shots, drive and kick, and we played unselfishly. We put five people on the floor that can score. They're all different, so they just go to their strengths. And each guy knows what each other's strengths and weaknesses are. And today, you know, guys like DC and Micah, who are very aggressive shooting, who can do that, they got hot. And then LG hit a couple, and then it gets us going. So it's all going to depend on what the defense gives us. We have the ability to drive it. We have the ability to play inside out. Um, but today they bothered us around the rim. We turned the ball over a little bit. Um, so we're not, you know, we're not trying to fire 33s a game. But if that's what's going to show, then, then we have the ability to take them. And more importantly, we have the ability to make them at times. I mean, it's early season basketball, Big Ten, ACC, I mean, whatever. We're all trying to find ourselves as a team right now. I think it's a great program win for us. I think it's great for our guys, our seniors um, that came in here when it was really down and, you know, have worked really hard. And then to go out and beat a Big Ten team at home in a fashion that we did, I think it's great. Um, but we got a long ways to go. And we're going to get smacked right in the face on Monday playing Pepperdine. So if we, you know, feeling real good about ourselves, we're going to get beat by 30. So we got to move on. We got to focus on practice on Sunday and getting better and keep building. And then at the end of the year, we'll look back and we'll say, hey, wow, we beat a Big Ten team or something like that. That would be great. Um, obviously, I think it'll help with recruiting a little bit. But hey, man, look at the A10. Everybody in the A10 is doing it. You know, George Mason has two high-level wins. Uh, BCU, I mean, we're all, you know, that's why this league, it's not a mid-major league. We all have the ability to, to play with anybody in the country. Yeah, I love the kid. I mean, what you see on game days, we see it every day in practice. He's so consistent. He just plays so hard, and it gets cont it's contagious. You know what I mean? He, he's a big reason we're defending better. Him and Darius, those two guys as the anchors, where I said last year we were so inexperienced, these guys are the anchors allowing us to do what we need to do on the perimeter, and we're playing well. Now, we've got to clean up the fouling. I thought, again, it, you know, we gave up some free throws down the stretch. But um, Nakai's energy level is fantastic, and the ability that he has to you know, move his feet Kid's only 18 years old too. He's a puppy, so you know, hopefully he just keeps getting get it better. Is this the, despite being a freshman, is this the expectation to be a um, kid? Yeah, I mean, you know, I would lie to you if I said, yeah, yeah, he's gonna come in and be a star. He's, you know, he's he's a kid. He's learning how to play. He's making mistakes, but he plays really hard. So when a kid like that, 
a lot of times you have to teach young kids how hard they have to play at this level. And that's not an issue with him, so it's more about teaching him, you know, certain techniques or certain things to do. But I, I thought he came in with great energy tonight. Yeah, I, I, you know, I always say enthusiasm is contagious. Well, defense is contagious. It's like passing is contagious. Like, you, you know, when you're getting stops and the guys are working for each other, like, that's why we're such a different team. We, we were more playing one-on-one -on -one last year trying to defend people. We defend as a team. And when the guys buy in and then they see results, um, they're talking about it in huddles. And, you know, each huddle we talk about how many stops we've gotten in a row. And, they, and they're buying in and they're taking off on that. So, again, like anything else, I think – you know, when young kids have success and there's confidence, they're going to start to snowball with that stuff. So our job is to keep getting better at it, keep putting them in situations that they can, you know, defend like this. How much of a fact the Yeah. Well, you and I talked about that yesterday a little bit. We want to play at a certain tempo. We want to try to get the possessions up and play at a faster pace. Getting stops allowed us to do so. When we get the stops, we can get out and play in transition more. And then they're going to, if we're scoring at a high rate in transition, you know, when they're bringing it up at a slower pace, I think that's why when we had that little drought, it never really got real far because we defended. In the years past, when we've had droughts offensively, we weren't able to hold the fort defensively and we'd lose leads or people were able to pull away from us. So I think now that, that defensive ability is allowing us to play more at the tempo that we wanted to play at. Oh, all we've talked about is defense. That's all we talk about. Uh, and I know someone wrote something about me. We're not where we can be offensively. We haven't really put that much time in offensively. We're just playing really unselfish. But it's about defense because we know to compete in the Atlantic 10, we've got to defend and rebound. Now, we did that tonight. Now, let's see us do it again in the next game. We've done it this year so far in our three games. Let's see us do it again in practice. Let's see ourselves do it again. It's early, uh, but we're going to continue to work on it, and we're just staying with it the whole year. This is what we're doing, focus on one day at a time to get better. Just hope we have a great practice on Sunday. We're really we're Pepperdine, that's it. I have no idea who we're going to play, which is good because we really don't know who we're going to play. It's just one day at a time, one game at a time. We'll deal with each one as we get there. Like I said to the guys in the locker room um, before the game, just because the opponent changes doesn't mean we change. It doesn't mean we change on, on our core values, and it doesn't mean we change on what we're trying to do defensively. Obviously, personnel we talk about, but we have to be us. And I thought tonight we were us. I thought we played really well. <laughs> what did I tell you last time? He's in uniform, he'll be flying. Well, I'll let you know. Thanks, guys.